Woo! I did. Okay, so now I've officially left Act Two, and we're into Act Three. I did, maybe I lied a little bit. I told my friends last night. Like I sent a GIF about somebody crawling over the finish line. I'm like, I finally got to Act Three. But now I'm now we're officially 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 in Act Three. We were in limbo for for a bit there. Maybe now I'll start getting the cutscenes piling up on each other. We must find where okay. Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Oh, right, now you're not even disguising your voice at all. Also, why do I only have 76 health? Next time we get a feat or something, I am leveling up, um... Where are we at here? I'm leveling up my... Constitution. Wait, I have a 16. If I could put two points into Constitution, maybe? That would be nice. Like, I get that I'm a strength and charisma based character. Or, a, yeah, wisdom, charisma? I guess my casting is through wisdom. No, my casting's through charisma. What do I need wisdom for? Yeah, and it only improves spellcasting for clerics, druids, and rangers. Anyway, whatever. I, I'm a strength, charisma based person, but 76 health only feels a little bit wimpy. It's a little wimpy. How much farther can I go? I don't know. How much further can you go? How much further can I push my computer? These are things we will never maybe have the answers to. Oops. Wrong button. I knew it. Appreciably care for boots. There were crows over here. That Civilization is... beckons at last. Okay, fine. It's no water deep, but Baldur's Gate is a respectable runner-up. Or at least a close third. Close third. I love this look on him. I gave him a short cloak, too. Gives him some good casting bonuses. And oh my gosh, look at my character! I was over here looking at freaking Gale! Oh, she looks even better in the close-up! He's got spooky hands on the pauldrons! Oh my gosh, I- Oh my gosh, I adore this! Like, the colors are good, and it's, like, kind of leaning it. My friend was saying that, like, I'm going and, like, my character, like, after the whole hullabaloo with everything that went down, and I told her everything. I was like, I'm, my character is maybe kind of leaning into this, like, harsh justice thing. Like, she keeps feeling like this is what, despite everything she has to do, despite maybe, like, her, like, part of her, like, her judgment, maybe. She feels like it, it's, like hurting her somehow but like she's going with this like sort of like a uh, I'll do what's necessary to save people even if that means throwing myself into the pit of hell you know what I mean um so she's kind of like will like that honestly um so I feel like this fits the vibe right where it's like judge jury executioner you know the queen not the queen a lady of death you know stuff type thing oh my gosh and it just looks sick like oh i Yes, I'm obsessed. And also, like, I don't know if I've mentioned this part, but death is like a natural part of life. Like nature, like nature. Her her former upbringing is like a nature paladin is not the antithesis of death. Nature is life and death intertwined. It's not just making things grow. It's things dying, entropy. You know, cyclical. You know, things die and things like things can like come to light. Like not come to life, but like I mean that can happen in this game. But like you know, things grow and live from the remnants of death. So like, I feel like it's like a natural progression maybe of like an Oathbreaker nature paladin is to lean into the death aspect of it. And so I am loving this. I just, I need, how do I do the, you, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Listen, and you can like see like the crow's feet here and like a little bit of the lines on her face. I'm loving this look. Like, she looks like she has been through some stuff. Like, I, this is how her face has been for a while. But it's, like, really starting to come together. And, like, she's had these earrings forever. The, like, raven's, ear like, skull earrings. Oh, you guys, I'm, like, so hyped by this. Oh, yeah. Put the UI back on. Okay, well, let's see what everybody has to say about being here. Soldier, this is it. We're almost to the city. First through Worms Crossing. Then on to the lower city. Oh, it smells the exact same. Ten years on, but still home. 
Incredible. Okay, I had to go away for a second. My sister who's stranded at an airport called me and I had to fix my headphones because there's a crack and it keeps catching on my hair and it keeps pulling my hair out and I'm in the process of like, like growing it out. So I'm sick of it getting pulled on and ripped out. <laughs> anyway, hopefully the athletic tape helps and doesn't just, you know, make things worse. Oh, I meant to double check. I think he has the best staff that he can use, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, I did forget I should ask Asterian if he wants to become a partial mind flayer. Maybe that would assuage him instead of, um, you know, murdering his siblings for god power to repress his trauma. Um, okay, bye. Come on. And where's... There he is. Worms crossing. The gaping moor of the city. Nature has little control over what happens beyond that bridge. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I figure, like, Druid Boy would have a hard time in the city. Or at least be like, eh, I don't really like it in here, you know? But here we go. Have you heard from Daniel since we moved on? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for it's ourselves. It's a date. Hey, we can't go back right now, but... I don't think we're allowed <laughs> back right now. Um, don't you do? Let's go into the city. I'm actually like really nervous because there's like a whole, I'm sure, a whole bunch of new quests and things to listen to. Whoa. Um, I knew it! I, I, I saw a redheaded stepchild here in the corner and I was like, this is gonna be a quest. She's got red hair, she's standing right at the freaking entryway, but I got distracted by the conversations going off on either direction. Uh, what's your name? Jenna. Uh, my cat is Grub. He's shy. I'm not. My mum is called Emery. She went to go get some herbs for her spots. She was sick, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Nobody's, like... Uh... You must be hungry. Here's some food. I don't know if she wants it or not, but... Wow. Thanks. My mum would like this. She oh! The best She's got heterochromia. World. And she taught me, too. I'll, um... I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Well, I'll help you. Thanks I don't know if this is actually heterochromia with the two different eye colors. Wait, wait, wait! Cat, 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 cat! Hang on. Hang on. No, 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 come here. But you'll be in a big... Come here, kitty cat. This is a bright red cat. I can't talk to it? Whoa! Oh, I'm upset. An earthquake. But they are not commonplace. This is what I get for sprinting through the city. Really there now. You can see the city. Why do I gotta talk to so many people? This stresses me out. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna start talking. Just a little more. We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes She's to She's quite go pretty. To. <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. All right, small child. What do you want? Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? Uh-huh. Um... Really there now. Oh, oh, why can't I help you? What do you get out of this? That's why right now today is Everyone deserves the chance to make some coffee. Seems like a good moment You're taking advantage of people? If I hire the refugees, then I get cheap labor and they get coin. It's a good deal for everyone. Okay. If my friend tries to get you to invest, 
kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. Oh, okay. Citizen, citizen. Is that a Volvo? Haha. -ha. Think about it. There's a here with no coin and nothing to do. Well, you're going to hire all the refugees. Just like I'm. There's too many. There's too many. There's too many things. This is a, this is a shenanigan. That's not what I meant. But if you do insist on continuing to be difficult. Oh, is this that artist? No, I killed the artist in this game. I think. <laughs> the place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Yeah, Paladin, everyone calm, explain your disagreement, and we shall find an accord. I don't see why I should be explaining myself. It's my property. They are on it, unlawfully. Are you using it? Look, we needed somewhere to live. This place was empty, and it had walls. I've got children for tears' sake. Well, you can't... I don't know, he's acting like he's got the rights, right, to do this. And it's like... Listen, I get it, but like, and we're on his side apparently, geez. It's like, I get it that that you need some place to stay, but acting like this guy's in the wrong when he's not technically is a little bit much. Yeah. Right, is that all he has? It gets cold out there at night, Mr. Gregorio. My kids will get sick. Please. We'll stay out of your way. We just need a roof. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. Look, I'm ah! and I'm losing both just standing here. Make your call, judge before Zenovia makes it for you. Delve into this frustrated man's mind, yes. Let's see what I can get from this. Ah! Yikes! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> I can't let them stay here. What if the little brat gets into the basement? Brat or ch how many children does this guy have? This is so obvious. She's like, uh, mm, let's see. Yeah, I hear, why can't they live in the basement? I'm sure you have one. What do you use your for? My basement? Oh, nothing interesting, just materials. I'm a craftsman, you Oh, see. are you? you? This man is definitely yeah. lying. And he's really hoping you don't pry any further. Look, I have some very valuable components in there. I need to get that lot out before they damage something. What are you, a necromancer? Mind if I take a look? Who do you think you are? Zenovia? People are lining up to break into my property. Do something about it. You paid us to protect you and your high-quality merchandise on the road. And we've since arrived at our destination. As I said, anything else is extra. Ugh. This is the last time I hire someone from the guild. They've got standards. Fine. What? Here's the extra. Finish the job. Now, please show this meddler some of that famous Rivington... You're gonna look at me with skulls and hands on my pauldrons and and you're going to say yeah no this is definitely cool we're definitely going to do this you know 
Like, I Isn't just... I'm, I'm boondoggled, honestly. What? He's out of... But we just took a sleep. Why? Why is he out of... Are we... Is he just not allowed to shapeshift in this fight? Oh, he's got an active spell going on, I think. I think that's the issue here. This guy's a part of it. Oh, I was going to talk to this guy. He looked like an interesting person. He's all dressed up. Alas, well. Level four, I have three. How many, what are these health of these people? Actually, um, well, it's like, I, I'd like to use it in a way to like, block this area off a bit, but I wanna hit both of these people too. So it's like, hmm. Doesn't do as much damage as I hoped, but yeah, it's okay. Why are you hitting Gale? He just came outside. There's a ranger. Temporary hit points, yeah, and I think that's from his, um... He has got a... The cloak on that gives him temp hit points. Let's do the guardians. This is so weird. What are you trying to do to me? What are you trying to do? Bard? Cease. At the ready. I'm gonna use my howl. Whoa, look at the way she uses it. Oh, only 15% chance? Maybe I don't. Let's use this. she like grabs her sword and just like shoves the hilt into the other person's hand with that animation that's cool on the pommel strike that's that's cool Sylvanas, guide my blows. Mm. yeah it's definitely a barbarian to sort wow Gale's gonna pass right the freak out and he's a pain in the butt to bring back they're both going to pass out. <laughs> See, I made him go to sleep. And I'm going to get him out of the range of my aura thing here. So that I don't damage him and wake him up. Oh, nice. We're all in it. On Scarpers? Scarpers. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm a smite. Oop. Oh, she did. She died. Cool. Sick. He just... He did what? I mean, I woke him up on purpose, but... Some healing for a wizard. For a wizard. See, he still calls himself a wizard. See, you can't change the class willy-nilly. It messes people up. Well, everybody is act acting all normal now. With haste. Well, you know, I didn't want to kill everybody, but all right, listen, Bucko. All right, you won. You won. What more do you want from me? I'm surprised you're still here. 
I want the family to stay. You have room for them, surely. I look so good. Help. Oh, I'm being, I'm very done. I'm very done. I, like, unless she says that one of the options at one point was like, there's an army on the way and you guys are squabbling about property rights. And it's like, probably nobody knows for some reason, even though, like, I don't know how we could have gotten ahead of them. I mean, we are faster, but they didn't seem that far away. Well, with Zenovia and the others gone, I don't suppose you'll take no for an answer. Help out a bit, man. All right, they can stay. Are you happy now? And like, if there's refugees, no, I have to figure out what I'm going to do. If there's refugees, like they know something's going on, you know. I'm sure a man of your means can find room in an inn somewhere. A room can wait. After what you've put me through, I need a. You drink. tried to enact violence on unarmed refugees. And then dragged me into it when I tried to arbitrate. I, I dragged myself into it by arbitrating, at least attempting. But all right, man, dude. Cinta was trembling. She'll be all right. She's a brave girl. We'll get through this. She's not brave, Ben. She's just learned to stay silent to avoid causing Ooh, trouble. Ooh, that is probably a lot of people, adults and kids, uh, understand. Like, you know, adults having to, or adults who had to deal with something like that as kids. Lost Anyway, in freaking come here for a second, my dude. We are going to... Move that. Are we all in this? Yes. He still needs. No rest for the wicked. He is I see. still in Ouchie Town. His healing sucks, honestly. All right, let's see. Yeah, it does not seem worth it, honestly. We're lucky there's still decent folk about. I've got a long road ahead. Not quite sure why you stood up for us like that, but I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. I may Torm keep you. How'd you end up here? Same way lots of us did. Trying to get away from the army. So the they know. If you had the chance to put a roof over your family's heads after being on the run for Torm knows how long, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. I'm not telling you to leave. Have all the roof you want. We will stay, for now. I just hope he doesn't pay anyone else to come sniffing round. Thank you. And may Torm keep I just you. think it was handled poorly, but I get it. He's he's a refugee. You're the first person in this city to have our backs. And like, Thank he's you. been through a lot, right? Really. So I can't blame him for that, but to threaten us. Good thing you sorted that out. I was this close to chucking a knife right between that trollop. I was like the man. She, <laughs> she was calling the guy a trollop. I'm like, I don't think I've ever heard that. Okay. Is referred to. As a man referred to as a trollop, and maybe she was referring to him as a trollop. Have some peace, now. Peace? What peace? Haven't you heard? There's an army. Yeah, I mean that's the other thing, right? Is like this, this, um, this house is not gonna save you, you know, from, from the absolute. Oh my gosh, the child. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I mean, I could try to talk to this child. What is what does he have? Why is he glowing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Salutations. Why? Gail is glowing. All right. Carlisle's probably what the now? best with kids, but I'll try to talk to this kid. Now we don't have to leave. I'm gonna build a big house for all the rats. It's gonna be really fancy. You'll see. Okay. I mean, everybody needs a hobby. Where are the rats? 
Let's see. Stick my face in every corner in case there's something I'm not seeing. The rats are definitely in the basement. She's not brave, babe. I think she's avoiding thinking about stressful things, honestly. Fire Amber. Aha! I knew there was. I knew! I knew. A liar, trap disarm kit, wooden chest. A diamond? Trap disarm kit. There's probably something to trap disarm kit down here. I don't have anybody who's good at lock picking, I think. What comes next? Mm. Better get this unlocked. Mm -hmm. Could go for a good meal. Carlac, maybe. Almost. I believe in you, darling. Wow. We are rolling so poorly. I think it must it must be guidance he's got on him right now. Give up now. Let's see what's in the basement. Ah! I knew it! Something? We uh, did we all we literally all failed a perception check. Well don't have Whoa, I was like, don't I'm have conscious. this boy walk into it. Oh, there's so many traps. <laughs> Attention. Oh, Garlic, you're our only hope. Wow, we're just perception failing all over the place. Woglums. Eh? Send a small rocket at a foe, blasting the target and inflicting color spray. She would love that. She would love that as a weapon. What's this man? Ah! <laughs> What's this man got in the basement? <laughs> and he's got so many traps for. Trap. And of course, everybody's just Be wandering cautious. around, very close to one another. It's really a bad idea to have everybody like attached to each other. Oh, oh my gosh! They just feel so me. Ah, uh, she's rolling great, though, honestly. She's rolled two 20s, I think, in a row, basically. Man's got a gazillion fireworks down here. Oh, we just... He, she just... She just picked up... The entire box? Why does the man have... Wow. It is very heavy, though. Um, why does the man have just a whole box of fireworks in his basement? We'll send my nice armor to camp and my nice shield. Like, no, you know what? We're going to send some of these things and I'm going to sell. Eventually. Because, yeah, we got to use a whole box of fireworks at some point. There's gotta be a reason for that. Me? Something over there. Yeah, yeah, no joke. Three twenties during down down here she's had. And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is again just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter, some of them will be a little longer. Uh, but I did my best, just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. 
Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond and is supportive of me in the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.